Hi class, Dr. Delmar here. Uh, as you know, I have, um, if you read the announcement this past week, I've been feeling underneath the weather. And so I just wanted to touch in and uh, touch base with you and make sure we're all on the same page. And um, so this is going to be about a five minute video to make sure that we're all on the same page. And then I will be posting a lecture video um, by about Wednesday time frame, and I'll share with you that lecture topic in just a moment. But first, I want to jump in to show you where we are. First and foremost, if you have not turned in your first week's assignments, um, then obviously you're severely behind at this point. Um, if you turned in something late and you turned it into the Dropbox, then I've graded it. If you emailed it to me, um, I'm still trying to filter through all of those emails. As you can imagine, if I have a lot of students email me late work, then it takes um, more days to go through those emails and then to enter the grades. Um, so just a reminder to please try to use your Dropbox um, for really everybody's course, mine and others, when possible. Also, if you email me, could you please put the course in the subject line so if you're in history 11 11 put that in the subject line if you're in um, another history course with me put that in the subject line it just makes it a little bit quicker for me to communicate so first week activities should be done check if you email me stuff you probably are waiting for a grade and i'll try to filter through the rest of those emails this week module two that should be done 1.4 and 2.1 um, those checks for understanding should be completed. Module three, that ends tonight. As, um, as because I was a little bit um, underneath the weather, I didn't post a lot of support this week. Um, nobody really, really reached out to me, and most of you have completed your checks for understanding. But if you need until, say, Wednesday to finish that up, I won't take off any late points. Um, one thing I do want to note, though, is I also have module four here up on the screen, is that each week you're required to read your chapters, or in each module you're required to read the chapters, and the recommendation is for you to work on those practice activities as well. Obviously, the checks for understanding, that's... Um, the ones that are for a grade. So for example, 4.1, 2, and 3, those are for a grade. The chapter 4 test, as an example, that's not for a grade, but I do recommend that you take it so that you can kind of test your own understanding and see what information you're retaining or what concepts you're understanding. Um, the same gauge textbook is really fairly broken, it's, it's broken down fairly well. So um, I post additional instructional materials for you, um, and for some of the more complex topics, those will be beneficial. But in all honesty, really those chapters in Cengage should work fairly well for you. Um, and I just want to show you that, let's see if I can pull one up real quick. If we go into, for example, Module 4, and if I go into Graded Activities, when you check, well, excuse me, when you click on that um, check for understanding. So it's going to bring you, it, the computer is going to bring you directly to, uh, sign me out, hold on. Sorry about that, sign me out. So let me just click out of it and then I'll go back into it. Um, it's going to bring, bring you directly to that check for understanding. So when you go into Blackboard, well, of course now it's not going to work. I've practiced this video several times <laughs> and it all worked. Um, just try it one more time here. My point that I'm trying to make is that when you click on that check for understanding um, from, oh, may, oh you know what it is, is I'm in the preview mode. Um, sorry class, let me just dismiss that off the screen there. Okay, so Am I still recording? I don't even know. I can't see myself. Okay, back to business. <laughs> when I click on this link, it's going to take me directly to the Check for Understanding activity. You can also X out of that activity and then just go directly into the book. 
Um, so you can go directly into Cengage, look at your book, look at your checks for understanding, or you can just click on this assignment and then just go directly to it. So let's get out of the student preview page and then see if I can click on that for you and show you that. So the video is obviously going to go over five minutes because I'm trying to fool around with this, but I do want you to see how that works. Okay, so I'm in Blackboard. I went to the graded activities. I clicked on the check for understanding. That means it's going to take me directly to Cengage into that particular check for understanding. And this one's the rise of Buddhism. So I would click here and then take the assignment. However, that X button right here, if I X out of that, I'm inside of my textbook. So here on the left hand side, this is your textbook, which you would normally have a big, large history book in front of you. If you expand all, then you can see all of the different chapter activities. So if we go, for example, to chapter three, you can see that this is the ones that counts towards the grade. So if I click here, then I read, I click here, and then I do the questions again. I click here to read and then here to do the questions. 3.3 is not for grade, it says practice. I click here to read or I can click here to do those practice questions. Uh, the practice questions really do help you if you're, you know, to see if you can retain that information. Okay, so I really didn't want to go too long on this video, so I just want to go back to the course page for a moment and let you see that again module three is due tonight however if you need a couple of more days i won't take off late points if you need until wednesday in module three i did upload um, two links for you so if you need these links um, and this is why i'm giving you a couple of extra days or if you've already done the checks for understanding and you just want to look at this information you can there's one for the origins of Buddhism that certainly um, will be helpful for you um, and then this one it's one link but then it has a bunch of hyperlinks here okay so remember what this was called South Asia link with helpful explanations so South Asia broken down you have India South Asia the story of India. Then you get the Indus Valley, South Asia, ancient India, Indus civilization, the language, the Indus script, so ancient India writing. Um, and you can stop there. You can keep going if you want to, to sculptures, but you don't have to. Uh, but essentially what I wanted you to know is that when you go into module three, these instructional materials are here. So whether or not you felt like you understood the material and you did well on the checks for understanding you haven't completed them yet no matter the case i just wanted you to know that those instructional materials were there module four which you're starting today and that's due on september 29th if you go into graded activities you'll see that um, this is about china so i have a super great tool for you for this module i'm going to go back and show you Okay, so where it says supporting instructional materials and you click on this link that says history of China and the dynasties. So this timeline is very thorough. Um, I think it's helpful because it talks about key events and it kind of visually breaks down China, their history and all of these dynasties, which can be confusing. The intent of giving you this link is not for you to memorize every single one of these by any means. I don't want you to memorize the timeline of dates. I don't want you to memorize all of the different um, dynasties in order. What I want you to do is have a very broad understanding of um, how complex the Chinese history is and how complex um, the different dynasties are. And so I would look at this after you read your chapter. Um, so read your chapter and then look at this timeline. Um, I just think it's very helpful to see it displayed in that manner. All right, so where are we at? First week, that's down. Module two, that's down. 
Module three, you have until Wednesday or Thursday if you would like those extra days to complete chapter three materials. Chapter four, that's your next one. Remember you're reading, completing the activities. Now, when it says view the lecture, um, I haven't been consistent about putting a lecture for every module, but I will be from here on out. I'll be a little bit more consistent with that. Um, I do not want you to be too worried about these checks for understanding grades. Most of you are doing well with them, but if you have one or two that you do not perform well on with the checks for understanding, remember that these are really kind of, um, even though they're graded, they're really to give you an idea of, you, of how much you understand of the material. There's a lot of checks for understanding. I'll be dropping several of the lowest grades, and I also um, randomly put in curves on some of these different grades. So I just don't want you to be too stressed out about how how the checks for understanding impacts your grade point average. Um, so hope that helps. I'm going to close out the video now. So we're at about 11 minutes. It's a little bit longer than I intended, but I did feel like it was important for us to have a good catch up session. And I will check back in with you guys around Wednesday or Thursday. All right. Have a good night.